sharing it on Twitter, on my posts and stuff. So just want to say, keep it up, fellas. Very proud. And I can't wait to hear more and see these special guests. And you know what? And I just have to keep laughing because every time I watch it, I know there's going to be some joke or some good internal battle or discussion or whatever is wrestling to football to hockey. I guess I got to bring up some, inject some women's sports into that podcast there. <laughs> but anyways, much congratulations. Keep it rolling, fellas. All right. I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are here. The 25th episode is upon us. And I brought the whole crew, everybody that's made the first 25 special. And I just want to start off by thanking everybody that, you know, took time out of their Sunday to come and record with us and, and kind of celebrate. It's going to be a best of moment. And uh, we'll kind of fly by the seat of our pants for this one. So it should be fun. And, uh, you know, I just want to start off by thanking everybody that's on this episode today had a big part of you know getting the podcast going promoting it buying shirts uh you know some people are out and about with shirts uh at certain festivals in the area and uh it's just it's just uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing it's a good thing it's all it's all good so um you know i want to start with uh ed first he usually starts off with an email i want to start with ed and i want to say Ed, do you have any favorite emails for the first 24 episodes? Well, I'd have to say the ones that kind of call us out and said that we were kind of like, you know, that we're a real shitty podcast. And, uh, you know, it was like, I, I, I forget that. Th I think that was Chris, I think. I think that he was from uh, North Kakalaka, if I remember correctly. I can't remember if that was the Louisiana one. Uh, you know, nope, I think. Was, it was it North was, Carolina. Yeah. Not yeah, that I've yeah. got it written down anywhere. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, never forget, careful, man. <laughs> no, I just, I, I just, honestly, it's it's been a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm gonna jump out and just jump. I I need to get something out right here in the forefront just today. Just um, I just want to get out just something that's kind of off topic. But I had two athletes today that competed up at the um, the uh, the nationals up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin today. Uh, one of my friends, Sharon, who's one of the ladies that I coach, she came in third place in the Athena division today. And that was a national thing. And my other friend, Mina, who I also coach as well, uh, she came in in the top 25% um, out of 2000 people. Uh, couldn't be any more proud of them, both of them. Uh, they both keep rolling over the boards and they, they just grind and they make it happen every single day as far as training. And I couldn't be any prouder of them than that. I just wanted to make sure that before we got rolling, I mentioned both of them because they're both super ladies and I'm really proud of them. And I can't speak any highly of, more highly of both of them. And uh, Sharon was one of the, she was one of the most memorable emails that we got because she was our first female e email that uh, that we got sent in. She was the Drew, Drew Brees and Tom Brady. So uh, she was the one that kicked it all off for the ladies. So just want to, I'm going to kick it back to you, Andy. And uh, just want to say that that nice little tie in there. That's all. Well, I want to stay on the uh, email topic and, and maybe uh, Chris can uh, shed some light on how, how some of this heat that we've gotten from negative emails has actually we've had more fun with those than the serious ones. I mean, they, they created Tom shitty picks out of that, which is, you know, you know, t-shirts. By the shirt, by the shirt, it's right here. Yeah, by the shirt. Yeah, stop being cheap. Buy some shirts. You know, we buy, the shirt. buy a shirt. Chris bought buy a shirt. shirt. Son the of shirt. the Phantoms rocking the Son of the Phantom shirt. Look at think What more can you ask for? Portuguese flag on it. You know, even if you're not Portuguese, who, which who would want to be? But... <laughs> they do have great food. <laughs> but the food. How can you... Can you blame the food? And you meet one Portuguese guy, you know they're Portuguese, right, Chris? Ah, damn right, man. I'm here at the Portuguese Madeira. I get the flag in the back. back. I love yeah. it. I Tons of people everywhere. I'm about six socks deep right now, but we won't we won't go that far with uh. I'm, I'm waiting for the Madeira wine to line to wind down a little bit. It's a little uh, too packed for me. But uh, no, the emails are great, man. I love I love the negative emails. It almost allows us or you guys to do like improv stuff and just kind of, you know, jump on, you know, jump down their throats and get them back in a way. And it's great. Like you said, we got Tom shitty picks shirt out of it. It, it just honestly, it's only going to inspire us uh, to do better and to do more. And 
and, and keep the laughter going, man. And I know that's what you guys are after. So it's, it's great to see. Yeah. Um, you know, so many things come up over the course of a week, like negative stuff or, or personal things or, uh, you know, whether it's uh, kids based or, or friend based or work based or whatever it may be. And, uh, you know, this is kind of like I said it before, it's uh it's a ther- it's kind of therapy for uh, especially for me to to kind of get on here with the guys that I don't see all the time and kind of kind of rip and then uh, you know especially uh, create some heat or or stuff like that. Chirp, uh, I love the chirp. Uh, Chris knows I love the chirp. Uh, you know, uh, some of my most uh, memorable chirps is sitting on the bench waiting to go over the board. So you know that that's kind of how I am doing this. This is what I would be doing on the bench too. So um, Tom, I, I want to. Kick it over to you. Um, uh, did we touch on all the email stuff that you want to? Is there there things that came up in the emails that you you know have a a, a best of moment as we can kind of segue to that? I just like the fact that we have the, the ladies te- uh, sending in emails. I mean, I think I counted three different lady uh, texts. I mean, uh, emails from ladies, and I think it's a pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good that it shows that. There aren't just guys. It's not just the the jocks and the, the wrestling fans watching that. It's it's the ladies too, you know. And yeah. and we didn't even need the Portuguese phantom to come on, so we can't say it's because of the Portuguese no. phantom. No, he he says he's on and he's not even on. So he's you know we we uh, kind of had a round table last week uh, when Ed was home and uh, he was he was chirping pretty good, um, you know, saying that he's part of the show. And then uh, I'm gonna have to kick it to the son of the phantom. The son of the Phantom. What can you bring to the table about the Phantom not being on the show? Go ahead, take it away. Oh, I'll just him definitely dialed down a little bit, but like <laughs> I don't, I don't have as much uh, like wrestling probably knowledge or hockey knowledge, but uh, bring more energy. How about that? I'll actually show up. <laughs> wow! <laughs> the shots yeah, fired. Out. Bang, bang. The, Doing the, the old cactus shack. Bang, bang. Right there. Wow. Shots fired at the old man. Man. Call, calling him out. It's like it's like a dual, yeah. at, sun, dual at sundown. <laughs> I think you guys should settle it at the feast. There you go. Yeah. Page <laughs> match. So I'm going to I'm gonna go to Brad. Well, don't forget Brad now. Come on. Yeah, we're, we're working towards Brad. Brad, um, I told a few people that that watched the podcast we had never met before. And one of the great things about the podcast is I had no meeting with you ahead of time. And we we winged it. And when you started rattling off all the things that you were into and uh, what you brought to that episode, it was great. I mean, uh, it was like you fit right in. And I'm like, I got to get this guy on a little more because, uh, you know, you, you, you hit a home run when you came on. So that that's fantastic, Brad. One nice. of the best Thank former co-workers I've ever had. Just say it. Yeah, appreciate that, Ed. <laughs> I mean it, bro. I mean yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I love working the run and try, and I really do appreciate you guys bringing me on. It's my first podcast. Um, Unfortunately, I'm so new to, to this format. You know, my highlight reel literally consists of the episode I was on. <laughs> but I, I don't know if Ed, you know, brought me on and, and cherry-picked those questions because this stuff me and him talked about a lot at work. But – um, that episode just really hit, you know, a lot of uh. No, nah, man, there was no cherry picking, man. Dude, yeah, that's why. I, that's why I said you were coming on, man. You and I got yeah. together, man. That's why. Yeah, I mean, look, so, you and I could kill eight hours a day together. Come on, Brad. Oh <laughs> man, we, we literally talked about that stuff, you know, every, every day, you know. So yeah, man. My man have uh not a whole lot of hockey knowledge. Um, by not a lot, I mean absolutely zero. That'll but come. I will bring That'll the come. Hawaiian shirts. So. <laughs> <laughs> I got that going for me. Yeah, hey, you look good. You dressed up for yeah. the episode. I, I like it. I, everybody yeah. brought something this week. Uh, so yeah, we, you know, like I said in the beginning, it's it's a celebration of you know the first twenty four episodes, and I I want to kind of do a roundtable with uh, with everybody and uh, go forth with the next twenty five episodes. I'm gonna start with Chris, and we'll work our way around. And Chris, what would you like to see us? kind of accomplish over the next like 24 episodes from now till 50. I think the new, you know, bring you know, new people. I think that's always good. You get different uh, perspectives. You know what I mean? Um, 
people that know different sports that we don't always talk about, maybe, you know, get a little bit of a mix in there is always good, you know, there's, uh, there's viewers of all kinds, and we need to try to hit. I'd like to see you guys try to hit whatever viewers you can hit out there that will uh, grab on and just like what they're watching, you know. Dom, what do you got? How about the next 24 episodes? I can't wait to get into football and the fantasy of uh, the NFL football and uh, college. Those are my two, probably my, the two sports that I get into the most. I mean, I know I watch baseball and, of course, hockey, but the football is the one that I really get into the most. Ed, what, what do you got for the from now till 50? What do, what do you want to see? Do you want to, you know, if you were running the show and you had, you know, total control of what was going on as far as, you know, what we're doing, what would you like to see? No, but imagine we had a million dollars. What would you like to see? So you're putting me in charge of creative? Is that what you're telling me? Well, I would never do that. I, okay, I, I just, I wanted to make sure that we were crystal clear on that, okay? Yeah, you had a lunchbox when we were kids with a bunch of drawings, and I would never put you in charge of creative. Hey, look, just because I'm a crayon eater doesn't mean anything. Come on now. If you've ever seen anyway. Super Bad, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd like to, uh, you know, since uh, I had technical difficulties last week, you know, because uh, the the microphone was uh, was not working, I, I'd say that I, I would like to see, like, I, you know, the, the comment about it would be pretty cool to have Bobby Orr on. Um, there's a guy that's uh, in Rhode Island. His name is Brendan Higgins. Uh, he's a big guy. Uh, he's a former kind of like East Coast guy. Um, he used to. He's he still keeps in a lot of touch with uh, Jimmy Valiant down in Virginia, um, and he's big into yoga. So I think that that would be kind of pretty cool to have him on. Um, he and I got reconnect. He and I kind of connected uh, via one of the guys that used to coach me for trap on uh, a few years ago. So I mean, I think that that would be kind of cool to have on and that type of thing. And you know, I'll agree with Tom. I mean. It is getting to be my most favorite time of the year being like college football and, you know, and, and, pro, and pro football. I mean, and then, you know, because we definitely have to have Brad on because we, we need to talk about his Cowboys now, you know. Well, uh, before we get to Brad, when we were talking to the Phantom and he said that uh, he the first thing he said to me was, I love that guy, Brad, because uh, the Phantom's a big uh, Cowboys fan. Even son of the Phantom. Yeah. All they have football Cowboys in fans. Portugal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only only Cowboys games. <laughs> I I, uh, I want to get your take, Brad. Um, same kind of question. You know, what what would you like to see, uh, you know, going forward from us? Because 50 would put us almost at the year mark. So, um, you know, what would you like to see? But, you know, it'll be football season, things like that. What, what do you got? Uh, what do you got in the brain? And if we I mean, just keep it on track football stuff we're gonna have so much to talk about but if we had like this you know imaginary number this you know that we could like throw out some money and we could all go do what it bring whatever to the show i think it would be awesome to meet up for a football game or to meet up for like wrestlemania in 2024 you know do something wild like that and just document it for the podcast i think that would be incredible. that's a great that that's a awesome idea i mean it, it it all comes down to what we could write off and, and uh, you know, put it on the podcast, Bill, and then kind of see what we could do with that. That'd be fantastic. And yeah. what, get the group together and, you know, just try to, uh, you know, create some memories and, and make uh, some more uh, content, for, I guess, for the, for the podcast. That'd be fantastic. Son of the Phantom. You're bringing a different age demographic. What do you got for us? Yeah. Um, definitely going to like an event that would be so cool. I agree with Brad, but also bringing on more people would be more perspectives on different things would be pretty cool. Maybe bring on a couple of couple haters, I guess you could say. Maybe maybe uh get a good argument with some of these people oh, who um, I never even have thought issues. Of that. Bring on a hater, and then we can tear them up. Bring, bring on a couple of haters. Yeah, a couple of haters. A couple of haters. <laughs> I love it. And uh, what about what about the Phantom? Thoughts on the Phantom ever coming on, or you never think it's going to happen? I don't know. He's gonna. He's he's big big ticket. Asking for a lot of money, I guess. Oh, big I ticket. Oh man. I don't and know. We, what does he think we, that this is nil that we're gonna pay him to be on? <laughs> no. This is not nil. We got, well, Chris isn't even on every week, and he's from the Madeira Feast. I mean, come on, <laughs> it, 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 you're in the same house as the wait, Phantom. Wait for a big can't... big number, maybe. I don't know. We sh yeah, when we no, get him, I tell him what, when we get him on, he's going to be pixelated like Ric Flair's World Heavyweight Title. 
Dylan, you tell the Portuguese phantom when he comes on, I got this flag with his name on it, all right? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a parting hey, gift. <laughs> you got you to soak it in some grease. Slop yeah. some linguisa grease on it. Oh, don't worry. I got my cun spit waiting on the grill over there. I hope it's not burning. <laughs> you can walk over, walk right over there and grab it. You can interview people uh, on the way. Yeah, it's a little loud. I don't know. <laughs> He's live and on location. Yes, yes, I am. I'm getting a lot from of looks the at the show. shirt, man. Everybody's uh, looking live the shirt, from the so. feast. Yeah. Uh, Chris, do you have a uh, favorite moment from uh, any of the you know first twenty four episodes? Man, I'm not gonna shoot my own horn here, but I love every moment that I've been on the show just because I'm having a good time with you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, just being there, talking with you guys, doing what I love to do too. Talk, who doesn't like talking sports? And, you know, you know what you know, my just favorite a good time, time was is that was Chris when you were on after Bruins lost. Yeah, you jinxed them. <laughs> oh, when I was in the basement for yeah. a week or so, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, when they yeah. lost, it was my favorite episode. Not that right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I polished off that three foot bottle of a niche too. Remember <laughs> with the branch in it? Oh hell yeah! Yep. You know, you <laughs> the tree inside. <laughs> Yeah, man. And I got the care package you guys uh, were supposed to send me for the uh, gas cars when we saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not in the budget. We couldn't write it off. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go to legal, we got to go to the legal department for that. Tom, uh, <laughs> uh, favorite thing about the first 24 episodes, what, what do you think? I kind of like the uh, that episode that Ed's talking about, even though I'm a huge Beast fan, but we were on live and I had my phone sitting there on top of the computer screen so i'm talking with you guys and watching the game and i was actually proud of myself that i didn't throw the phone knock over the the computer or something when the game when they scored the goal when kachuk scored because i was pissed but i was that would, been great. My that would been great tv by the way yeah you, maybe, you, maybe you, ratings would have got it would have improved that way <laughs> uh ed what do you got the favorite favorite moment from the first 24 episodes you know it actually to be quite honest with you it probably was the first one it was just, it, it was, you know, the first one, just, it, it was just, we just let, you know, it's just like, okay, let's see how it works, you know? And, uh, you know, it, it's, it was just really good to see that, you know, that two of my best friends, I get to see them every week. So. Yeah. Um, Three of your best friends. Oh, Three. All right, sorry, oh, sorry, I Brad. Like that. I, like like that. That, I, mean, I like that. Inserting right, yourself. Thanks, that, that's how you get good jobs doing stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, give me your, what's your email, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to make it public. Hey, listen, yeah. you know, you, you can always put this on a resume that, you know, you were part of, uh, you know, you were on a podcast and all that stuff. Right. And, you know, it, it, it looks good. And then when people ask, you just point them my way. They look at yeah, these, yeah. look at these MFs. They don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> so uh, brad i know you were only on one episode later in the uh, you know the 20s um uh, but what was the best part about coming on i mean just sitting down i've always like kind of had this vision of and there's so many podcasts out there with expert you know analysis can we just get some average joes some regular guys come in and, and have those same conversation, you know, and, and still get our points across and still make some quality content. And I feel like that's what this podcast does. So oh, it's awesome. right up my alley. Yeah. Um, Dylan, I'm going to ask you a similar question, but I know you have a podcast with your own buddies and uh, what do you, what do you like about doing the podcast with us compared to doing the podcast with them? Definitely a lot more hockey wrestling talk. That that doesn't fly much with uh, the six other people. That it's more um football basketball focused now. But basketball. Um, yeah, it's yeah, an actual sport. Yeah, basketball. No basketball. thanks. No thanks. But I really like coming on and then it's like also this is on Zoom, so a lot easier than uh coordinating seven people's schedules every week to all come to time figure everything yeah. out yeah i i my plan is that you know when we hit these anniversary episodes just to kind of like get everybody on and even if you know you don't have that much time to talk because it's only half an hour we can we can express 
you know, the gratitude that especially me, um, I have for everybody that's been on. It's uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's fun and it, it's growing. I mean, uh, there's people that want to be on and it, it's just not their season as far as like their, what they like to talk about. Everybody likes to talk about football. So we'll be, we'll be heavy when the football comes. I don't know if the half an hour will be enough for some of these picks and a big round table, but you know, we'll, we'll get everybody on and uh, you know, grow it over. I'm, I'm thinking it'll grow a little bit more over the next 25 episodes. So hopefully and uh, we'll be right back in the thick of, you know, the NHL All-Star Game, Super Bowl, around the, you know, around the 50th episode. So, you know, it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be uh, a good time. And, you know, I, I want to give a shout out to everybody that's helped out behind the scenes, like uh, Phil Mastolito. Um, you know, he hooked us up with a very cool intro. Um, you know, I liked it a lot when he showed it to me. And he's like, I'll, I'll you know, I'll tweak it for you, whatever. And I'm like, no, no, don't touch anything looks good um you know so the people that support the channel that don't come on because they're camera shy or whatever just you know we a big thanks from everybody because you know we, if it wasn't for you guys watching we you know we wouldn't have uh anybody to yuck with so you know it's all about uh having fun and you know not taking anything personal but we are going to get a little blue every now and then so uh and she's 17 at times so uh you know, especially with uh, the guy down at the bottom, he, uh, you know, he doesn't wear pants for podcasts, so he has no pants uh, policy. And uh, the trip home last week, he, he had problems with the audio. I thought it was crabs, not out of the realm of possibility, but Ed, crabs, yes, no, confirm. I uh, know that I have to say that uh, I am, uh, uh, I am uh, disease and drug free. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so it was crayfish then. Uh, it's pronounced crawfish, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Better towel, Brad, man. You, Brad, will you speak on this, man? Come on, man. You got to teach them that, enlighten them. You know, you can call it crawfish, crawdaddy. Well, I don't even know what a crayfish is, man. <laughs> it's, it's a, <laughs> is it like a quahog, quahog? Hey, hey, you need to say, remember. Is it, hey, is it like bleaka, bleaka, and quahog is our law firm? Remember, is that. it like circusola, cusurla, lunguica, lunguisa? Or, I mean, oh, lunguica, that's my favorite. You gotta be this careful. is an American right here. Now, when you say yeah. that, Ed, you have to be careful who you say that around. You got to know your audience when you say that, that you like the linguisa. Chris, confirm? Absolutely. See? Confirmed. Got to be careful like how you say it. I like it on my it. pizza, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ed, I've seen things. You know, when you've seen guys you grew up with naked more than once, you know how people roll. I've been in a lot of locker rooms. You know, it's a towel around the waist, not over the shoulder. That's how we roll. It's always around the waist. Okay. So, so uh, before we, um, you know, get rolling, we got about ten minutes left. Uh, any any shout outs uh, for the last twenty four episodes, Chris? What do you got? Uh, yeah, I, I want to give a shout out since I didn't get to in the beginning to uh, miss the trainer over there, Ed and. Uh... The, uh, his trainees in that competition. That's that's awesome to see that you're putting in the work to train your people, and they're putting in the work and getting stuff done. So uh, kudos to them and to you. Good job, buddy. Thanks, Tom. man. Appreciate it. Well, I want to thank – I'm going to miss a few people here, but some of the people that have sent in emails, uh, Debbie, Derek, Darren, Stacy, Brian, Sh uh, Sharon – Dave, Chris, Gary, Gene, Braden, uh, and the two presidents of my uh, fan club, Chris from uh, North Carolina and Charlie from Mississippi. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna have picks uh, when football season comes around, so strap in. They're not uh, they're not uh, Polaroids, right? Not those kind of picks. No. Okay. Those okay. are for my other fans. Okay. My, um, That's just from Alex back in the day. That's it. Ed. Hey. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I'm going to shoot it to Brad. Brad, uh, any shout outs while you have a few moments to um, have the floor? Hey, shout out to Ed's athletes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to echo that. Uh, you know, training for whatever sport is obviously that is, you know, grueling. Training is probably, you know, people hate doing it the most, but training with Ed, that's got to be doubly difficult. 
So shout out to them. You know, they, they did it. And Ed, you know, uh, it's always great for you as the trainer to get, you know, um, was a trainer if your athletes aren't excelling, you know, so that's, that's great validation for you, man. So I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Thanks brother, man. I appreciate it. Special Ed. Special Ed. Yeah, that's me. So Dylan. You be wearing the helmet. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, say Anderson Anderson wearing the helmet. Short yellow bus today with the helmet. Oh, nice. Nice. You gotta you gotta dress it up for twenty five. Hey, Where's your top hey. hat? It's you not the budget, like... man. <laughs> you don't have any old uh, cardboard no, lying around man. or something? No, nah, man. You know, let's just uh, say <laughs> there was a lot of slashing and burning that happened. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kick it to Dylan. Dylan, sh shout outs. What do you got? Shout outs, you three for twenty five episodes. The the best tag team in the podcasting business and your host <laughs> giving us 25 episodes. We're, of... we're not, are we going for the old school six man titles? I don't do trios titles. Oh, that's tr oh no, t no trios. No, I do six man titles uh, like the free birds. That's how we roll. Yeah. Dusty and hey. the road warriors. The only trio. Buddy Roberts, you got that. You get the helmet. Yep. Yep. Boxing headgear. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things. Um, yeah, I, I can't say enough uh, about everybody that's been involved. I mean, when it gets back to me, I'm just so thankful that, uh, you know, my week is spent, uh, you know, doing these little things. We got best of uh, little best up clips going up all the time. I was able to do a deep dive with that and, and chop them up a little bit just uh, just for people to kind of laugh at if, if maybe it'll draw you to the podcast or, or whatever. And, you know, we got a, uh, New shirts all the time, and you know the kids always want to get involved with doing the, buy a phantom shirt. Come on, what more can you ask for? It's got the flag on it, got the wrestling mask on it. What more can you ask for? So I'm working uh, on stickers as well. Working on some stickers, working on some other stuff, working always working, always looking around. Um, if you are somebody that wants to be on, and you know you have a Another podcast, we'd love to come on and, and talk to you too. Like like Dylan has his own podcast with his buddies. Um, you know, if you know somebody that has a podcast and we can, you know, kind of swap off a little bit, we'll, you know, I'll send Ed or Tom to theirs or I'll go on or, or whatever. And, you know, we're just open to this whole realm of, uh, you know, the podcasting world and we're, we're trying to get ahead of it. I mean, uh, we're here to have fun, and you know, I I'd like to get um once hockey season starts, I'd like to get um maybe a uh, a female on one week just to get. I know a couple of ladies that play hockey, so I'd like to get one of them on. Most of them are Bruins fans, which sucks, but <laughs> what, what what can you do? Um, it would be nice to get a different perspective, you know, other than you know the pink hats from the honk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh unfortunately you know with tom chris they they love their bees dylan's a blackhawks guy so that'll be that'll be something uh brad he'll he'll be watching pretty soon we'll we'll get him we'll get him around that corner <laughs> we'll, we'll get him there but it's not we're gonna start small but at least uh yeah. you know it is what it is so uh, i'm gonna um uh, i'm gonna just kind of have everybody kind of say thanks and then you know, we're off. We got like three minutes left. So a quick, quick one time around. And Chris, what do you got before you go? Yeah, uh, I, I know someone just finished saying it. And I'll echo it again. You guys coming on here. I don't know whose uh, idea it was to start it, but whether it was yours or one of the other two guys, but just you guys being able to come along like every week, make it a set thing. Like you guys haven't missed an episode. That's a big dedication to you know making sure you get one done every week you know and you guys have been doing it so good job to you guys appreciate the watch you know it's the first thing i put on when i'm driving in my truck at uh midnight down to wherever i'm going connecticut wherever it may be i put on the podcast and i cruise through the lines down to connecticut and i love watching it every monday so that's kind of been my thing so i appreciate it to you guys thanks man uh thanks, tom real quick got something a uh, couple more uh, shout outs. I want to thank uh, Darren, who I know is listens every episode and he's always giving me feedback. And uh, Scotty, our friend Scotty, who owns the brewery up in Toronto, Brock Street Brewery. He sent us all the swag and uh, just want to thank him for uh, supporting us. Uh, Ed, real quick, we got like two two minutes. Is a quick one. All right. 
speed round. Just want to thank everybody and just want to let everybody know, look, we do this for fun. We're not out there trying to hurt anybody's feelings. You know, nothing like that. You have to understand that there's three of us that have known each other for probably over 30 years and we, and we hammer each other at the best chance that we get. And it's all in good fun. Brad, you know, Brad understands it. And Chris does too, that we're just, we're just out here having fun. There's no mean spiritedness behind it. And thanks everybody for listening. Really proud of, you know, my name is Sharon again. And um, Scotty, thanks for the support. Um, you know, and just thanks for everybody listening. And uh, Brett, also thank Brett for some constructive criticism he gave over uh, over my visit home as well. And uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, well, um, I'm going to wrap it up because we got like 40 seconds left. So I just want to tell everybody, Dylan, Brad, Ed, Tom, Chris, Thank you so much from the Thanks, high. Guys. I mean, the only thing that would make me happy is if you all were Flyers fans, but other than that, you guys can go <laughs> scratch. But <laughs> I, love you. I love you guys, and thanks for showing up, and we're going to look forward to uh, more good things going forward. So thanks, everybody. From, from me to you, much love. Later, everybody. Thank you. Later, everybody. Thank awesome. you.